Welcome to Vora Motors. Today we're going to be taking a look at the three different models of the Roadrunner, from the prototype to the first edition to the current edition that we currently have, or that we have. <laughs> When we first released the first batch of the Roadrunner, we were extremely happy with it. But then we quickly realized that we could make improvements and we went back to work. Many of our improvements were based on our own testing, but we also received lots of critiques and suggestions from riders like you. So within a month of the release of the first batch of the Roadrunners, we already started production on a version that took into account of all the changes that you wanted as well as the changes that we wanted. But first, before we get into that, let's take a step back. So let's start off between the differences of the prototype and the first batch of Roadrunners that first went out. As you can see here on the prototype, it wasn't as aesthetically pleasing. So we went ahead and made changes by adding a black finish to the handlebars as well as adding our branding to the rest of the scooter. So another physical difference is the rear fenders on the Roadrunner. On the prototype, it's not as long and it doesn't look as nice and it didn't perform as well as the first batch that we had sent out. On the first batch we had sent out, we have made it longer and it has now a carbon fiber finish on the rear. So another difference between the prototype and the first batch is that we've added a front fender. So another addition that we've added was the ability to change between the dual motors. On the prototype version, it was always set to dual motors and you never had the option to change it to just single motor. On the first batch we sent out, you can see here, we've added the R and I buttons, R for rear motor and I for dual motors as an option. And we've also changed the braking system from generic mechanical brakes to X-Tech hydraulic brakes. Now that we've talked about our first prototype to our first batch, let's move on to our current edition of the Roadrunner. So here we have the first batch of the Roadrunners alongside of the current Roadrunner that we currently have. Um, some of the major differences between the two is on the Roadrunner that we have here, which is the current one, the seat is a lot more plush and soft compared to the first batch that we put out, which will be a little bit more stiff and not as comfortable to ride. And on top of that, we've improved the branding on the scooter. So you will now see Vora Motors on the rear side of the fender, along with on the battery, and as you can see on the side of the seat too as well. On the previous Roadrunner that we sold, the fenders came in a carbon fiber uh, finish, so there's not as nice as it would be on the current Roadrunner. So one of the biggest complaints that we got with the first batch of the Roadrunner was the suspension. Um, the suspension was a little bit too stiff for a lot of our riders, so we went ahead and changed that with the current Roadrunner that we have now. We've reworked the suspension so that way you can make it softer when you're riding and don't have any rough bumps along the ride. If you take a look here on the first one, the suspension is a lot more stiff. And on the current Roadrunner, the suspension is a lot more able to collapse. To change the stiffness of the suspension, you would just switch over from the plus or the minus on the ABS setting in the front of your scooter. You would turn it to the plus to increase the resistance and turn it to the minus to decrease the resistance. So on the first batch of the Roadrunners that we released, we've added just a light reflector on the rear part of the seat, but we noticed that it doesn't have any light capability. So you know, people who are driving can't see the riders as they're going. So what we did was on the current Roadrunner, we've added turn signal lights, as well as a hazard light to make it more safer when you're riding at night. Another improvement that we've made on the Roadrunner is we've increased the length of the foot pegs. They're a little bit more sturdy and they're easier to install. So another big thing about the longer foot pegs on the new Roadrunner is it makes it much safer to travel at faster speeds while riding. And another thing you may have noticed is I am in a whole new set of clothes besides my jacket. Um, we were having some technical difficulties yesterday. Is your audio still going? No! So due to that, we're gonna pick up where we left off. Um, so another major difference between the current Roadrunner that we have and the first best that we put out is we switched out the LED lights. One thing about this LED light is it's brighter, making it more safer for the nightlife. On the first batch of the Roadrunners, it only had the light and the horn option. Here's a test we did at night. As you can see, the new light is much brighter and casts a more even beam. So another big difference between the two models of the Roadrunners is on the newer model, we changed the placement of the kickstand. We placed it a little bit closer to the foot pegs, making it easier now to make modifications to the back motor and to the back wheel without any constraints. Now that we've discussed why this makes the best version of the Roadrunner yet, let's put it to the test. We took it around the headquarters to see how well it rides on normal roads. With the rider, the scooter can get up to 35 miles per hour and travel up to 50 miles.
Here's what the wheels look like in free spin. In this mode, the scooter is able to reach a much higher speed. Here's some footage from our braking test. During our braking test, our rider was going around 23 to 24 miles per hour and would stop braking at a certain mark. We found the scooter completed braking after about five to six parking spots. Finally, we tested out the suspension on our test track out back. We started with stiff settings on our suspension for the first test. Next, we reduce the suspension to be softer. Here's what that looks like. Thank you for watching our comparison videos of the Roadrunner. We hope you found this very helpful and entertaining. Make sure to hit like, subscribe, and hit that bell. And make sure to leave any further questions in the comment section below. Lastly, feel free to join any of our many online communities. And thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. <laughs>